I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction here with your feeder flash for Friday January the 19th where we had big news that come out on Thursday we've heard rumors about it we we pretty much knew that it had happened but we didn't know any particulars or the names and, and exactly uh, what went down but uh, Five Rivers cattle feeding is sold and they have made an announcement and we'll talk about that here in just a minute but continued optimism in the cattle market uh, on Thursday and now we've got momentum carrying us through that and it's going to overshadow the big wreck that we saw a week ago and uh, you know guys just can't be more thankful we haven't seen our fat cattle trade as of yet but uh, it appears it's going to be at least steady and uh, and you can see how the Packers have really dug in really haven't purchased anything at all and and haven't been out there picking around or anything even on plain cattle they just hate to, to establish the market because they are afraid that it's going to be uh, maybe a buck or two higher but you look at the board on Thursday April live cattle up 70 cents to end the day at 123.47 February spot live cattle contract up 97 cents and sitting at 121.95 so if you figure uh, on a, a normal type basis we should be getting maybe that 121 uh, 120 would be steady, but if you really remember the a few late sales uh, last week were, were more like 119. But uh, you know, 120 would be fine. Anything better than that would be a good victory and and confirm this uh, little rally that we've seen here after what we thought was a, a wreck and and maybe going to take us back down the pole. But look at your March feeder cattle up a dollar 20 on Thursday to end the day at 147.17. January up a dollar thirty at one forty nine seventeen, and they're running at a two and a half dollar uh, premium to what the cash market is. And we've been saying that it hadn't been very long ago that your your January feeders were you know eight bucks behind what your cash market is. But it's it just takes a while to get things turned around. No fat cattle trade to speak of so far this week you know we had one pin on the fed cattle exchange bring 119.75 but uh and some of your auctions have been higher but just very very quiet in the country haven't heard much of any any uh confirmed bids really of, to speak of and it'll be interesting to see what happens here on friday there will be trade it may be late in the day it may be after uh after uh, business hours but something will happen but let's talk about this uh, this feedlot sale here for just a minute uh, JBS USA Five Rivers Cattle Feeding uh, has announced that it has uh, turned over to Pinnacle Asset Management which uh, doesn't really ring a bell to anybody in the cattle business they're out of New York City which uh, which is enough for most cattle people that pretty much tells them everything they need to know uh, they're in with partners doing it with another New York outfit called Asprey Management which uh, doesn't mean a lot but what does mean something to people is Arcadia Asset Management and uh, the founder there is Jordan Levy and he's uh, based out of Oklahoma City uh, a lot of people that have been around the cattle business know of Jordan He's got Chicago roots, but he is a cattleman through and through, and he moved out west uh, when he was a young man, young businessman, had, had kind of learned how to do this commodities business growing up, and uh, decided to sink his teeth in the cattle part of it. But uh, he's pretty well uh, made his mark and, and been accepted in the, the Oklahoma City commercial cattle uh, community there which is the biggest there is in the in the world really and and uh, and they trust him and uh, a lot of people there uh, have done business with him he's done some big things already in the cattle business has to do with uh, commodities trading and things like that he's big into risk management feeds a lot of cattle of his own uh, a lot of people thought that that he might have something to do with this uh, purchase of five rivers and it turned out that he did but uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 200 million dollars uh, it's the largest cattle feeding operation altogether of its kind nearly a million head capacity and running in states Arizona Colorado uh, Idaho Kansas Oklahoma Texas it's just uh, everywhere 
but uh, that they feed a lot of cattle and uh, and that's kind of becoming the trend these big uh, major packing plants are letting somebody else take over all the capital that it takes to feed all the cattle that they need and you might also know that Jordan Levy was a co-founder of uh, Fed Cattle Exchange online fat cattle auction which we kind of said uh, really had come out of the chute strong but it's kind of fledged here uh, here late and like this week they only had 300 head on offer and you think maybe they're going to have tens of thousands of cattle on the on the show list there at the Fed Cattle Exchange but uh, that's not the way things work. Uh, JBS would not have turned that over to somebody else if it wasn't going to continue to cover the overwhelming majority of their slaughter needs. Uh, that's the way the business works. It's just like whenever uh, uh, Cargill sold Caprock off, uh, you know, the new the new owners, uh, you know, continue to send cattle in there. Cactus has an arrangement with Tyson, uh, you know, National, uh, they use their their shareholders with uh, U.S. Premium Beef, and they've they pretty much got to keep a big base of what they need uh, for slaughter needs, and because it's hard enough for them to just fill in around the edges, but having to go out there and compete for cattle, I mean that's almost like uh, guys having to buy feeder cattle against uh, other feedlots and stuff. You know, who could imagine doing something like that and running a major packing plant? But Anyway, we've seen that change and it doesn't appear that it's going to uh, change anything really as far as the way they purchase cattle will probably continue to buy out of the same areas, feed the same kind of cattle and do everything pretty much as, as what they always have. Your actual slaughter uh, information come back for the week ending January the 6th and your uh, average dress steer weighed 900 pounds. That's down 2 pounds from the previous report so we're starting to get into when they had some of those cold spells and it's going to suck the weight down a little bit more and it should continue to do that look at your feeder market on thursday real-time index on beef market central ended the day late on thursday at 146.84 that was up nearly another dollar up 98 cents and uh we're just continuing to see these cash feeder sales uh pick up and and you wonder why that real-time index is important. The last available CME index actually come out on Tuesday at 145.01. Not only does your real-time index precede that CME index and, and kind of show you what it's going to be, it's a lot more dependable as when it comes out. But look at some big Thursday sales. Farmers and Ranchers Livestock Salina, Kansas had close to 4,000 head there. Uh, if you look at that report on Cattle Market Central, the automated report, you can see that your popular weights where you had a lot of volume were selling somewhere from firm to five bucks higher. That kind of goes along with the other sales. Some of those sales getting up into the northern plains like Salina, they didn't fall quite as far as your southern plains sales did last week when everything fell out of bed. So they're not going to return uh, quite back as much as a lot of those sales either. Now Pratt's going to gain a little bit more than that. They had 2,300 head on Thursday and uh, being that much further south and they were down hard a week ago. They sold feeders three to eight bucks higher and uh, really a good sale there. And it's just amazing how uh, down we were this time last week and we've just turned things right around and not a whole lot has changed really. But uh, we have seen a break in this uh, bitter cold weather in a lot of places and and we're just going to get through a normal winter and every day that goes by is one day closer to spring. But look at some individual quotes on Thursday. Burlington Livestock Exchange in Burlington, Colorado. 345 on Thursday. Still seeing big runs uh, kind of in association with the National Western Stock Show in Denver. But 112 head of steers weighed 565 pounds at 187 impressive price there and looking back at Pratt an individual quote out of Pratt at noon on Thursday they had kind of a light load of 853 pound steers bring 150 and a quarter that's your feeder flash for Friday